When I had my short walking holiday on Dartmoor a few weeks ago, I stopped by a river to eat my lunch. I was transfixed by the water striders that were walking on the water in the calmness near the riverbank, and I thought it would be interesting to explain to you how they can do this. It is all to do with one of the amazing properties of water. The first couple of things to understand is that water is made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms, and that it is a polar molecule. It's a polar molecule as it has an uneven distribution of electron density. It has a slightly negative charge near the oxygen atom and a slightly positive charge near the hydrogen atom. So water molecules are attracted to one another and form hydrogen bonds between the oxygen and hydrogen atoms. This is called cohesion. It is because of these cohesive forces that water has some unique physical properties. But here I am just going to focus on surface tension. Surface tension is as a result of the formation of the hydrogen bonds and is the tendency of a liquid surface to resist rupture when placed under tension or stress. In a body of water, molecules of water form hydrogen bonds with their neighbouring water molecules. But at the air-water interface, a water molecule has less molecules of water to form these bonds with, so there are stronger bonds formed with the neighbours that they do have. The overall effect is for water to behave as if its surface was covered with a stretched elastic membrane. This cool effect means that small insects such as water striders can walk on water, and small objects such as paper clips or a needle can be made to float on water if you place them very carefully. But that is not the end of the story. The water striders legs are also beautifully adapted for life walking on water. Their legs are covered in thousands of microscopic hairs which have tiny grooves in them. These grooves trap air, which increases the water resistance of the legs and the overall buoyancy of the water strider. In fact, their legs are so buoyant that they can support 15 times their weight and can stay afloat even in a rainstorm. The water strider has three pairs of legs. The front legs are short and used to capture prey. The middle legs act as paddles and the back legs, which are the longest, provide additional power and enable the strider to steer and break. They are able to travel at speeds of 100 body lengths per second, which is equivalent to a six-foot person swimming 400 miles an hour. Isn't nature wonderful? If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.